Hello, everybody. I am S.N. Chakravarti here. I am making a brief review of the essay paper of UPSC Mains Examination 2021. UPSC has again proved in the topics made in UPSC Mains Examination that it is a highly professional organization. There is a feeling among a section uh, that the essay paper uh, ha was very tough. All topics are philosophical and uh, hence it is difficult to understand whether it's a philosophy paper or essay paper. Some of the aspirants have even termed that uh, most of the uh, topics are too abstract. I also subscribe that uh, the testing of comprehension and writing skill of an aspirant uh, could, could have been done by making the topics easier. An aspirant's quality can be judged better by adding too much of philosophical tone in the topics uh, really uh, does not find much uh, rationality. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to be a right approach. At the same time, I don't want to jump into the bandwagon to say that the essay topics were uh, too tough, difficult and abstract. And I do not find that all the topics are philosophical in nature. Uh, since 2018, UPSC has changed the style of framing language of the essay topics. And because of this, the, uh, the, the thematic character of the topic sometimes does not appear at the first sight. But a careful reading of the topics would reveal, uh, you know, that uh, topics uh, meaning and expectations are not that tough as apparently uh, looks like. Uh, in fact, a, a close scrutiny of the essay topics of main 2021 reveals that there are only three pure philosophical uh, topics in section A. The raised five topics, including section A and B, are thematic and they cover uh, various subjects like uh, technology, leadership, knowledge, history, and uh, best practices. Three philosophical topics are uh, First, uh, the second topic, that is the, your perception about me, a uh, reflection of you, and my reaction to you is an awareness, awareness of uh, me. Second uh, topic, that is the topic number three, philosophy of well, wantlessness is utopian, while materialism is a chimera. And topic number four, the real is uh, rational and the rational is real. These three topics are definitely philosophical. The first topic in section A itself is thematic. This is a relation between individual self and technology. The topic is the process of self-discovery has now been technologically outsourced. Then the second thematic topic, that is the topic uh, number five in the question paper, hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. It is on leadership or maybe mother's role uh, in society, whatever way one may uh, perceive it. But I would uh, view it uh, as, as the uh, leadership rather than uh, women's power. Uh, the third thematic topic, that is uh, number six, is on education. The topic is what is research but a blind date uh, with knowledge. Though the subject matter is not difficult, but the topic appears to be more uh, suitable to those uh, in higher study. Majority of the aspirants are fresh college graduates. Uh, they may lack necessary insights uh, about research. That this topic may appear uh, you know, uh, easier for the aspirants who are pursuing doctoral study or those who have over the years have searched you know, uh, the materials for UPSC preparation and they have understood that there is no end of knowledge development. Fourth topic, that is number seven, 
is uh, a, 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 a political subject that is history uh, uh, repeats itself first as a tragedy second as a farce this topic perfectly matches to some of the major events of the contemporary world particularly the the the, the, the incidents uh, which uh, you know matters for india the fifth thematic topic or the last topic of the essay paper is on best practices the topic is uh, there are better practices to best practices best practice is a very very common terminology used in development parlance government non government and international organizations are very often uh, you know um, using uh, word this terminology it's uh, if a main you know uh, uh, essay paper contains as many as five thematic topics tell me how can the question paper be said to over dominated with philosophical topics or suffering from uh, abstraction i often say that upsc is changing the question uh, pattern and making it more challenging there is nothing wrong in that okay uh, what would be important is to keep in mind that in spite of the uh, language of the essay topics are changing a sizable number among the aspirants are scoring quite well some of them are even getting very higher you uh, know uh, number this indicates that the essay topics are not invincible to all the aspirants but then why does it happen so it is clear that those who practice essay writing regularly and consistently are able to understand uh, the meaning and expectation of a topic uh, faster and that is necessary in the exam hall they are expected to write quality essays also one must know that understanding the essay topics and selecting two uh, topics out of eight topics in the examination hall has to be completed as quickly as possible and this is where the real challenge lies after the mains examination is over through research and discussion one may understand the meaning of the topics or where from those to topics have been obtained but i do not understand uh, what the aspirants gain by uh, learning whether the topics originated from uh, hegel's comment J.K. Mehta's concept, uh, Karl Marx's interpretations, or William Rose Wallace's poem. Essay paper is not for writing an answer to a question. Neither it is to uh, give a comment to a particular person, isn't it? So therefore, you know, you know, you'll have to be careful and do practice. And this reminds me of uh, John Rawls' uh, concept. of a veil of ignorance ignorance where he advocates that one must uh, avoid subjectivity while taking decisions this means better forget where from the topic has been taken and uh, whether it's a poem's line a book's uh, title or a report's caption it doesn't matter examine a topic as it appears before you and then decode it appropriately appropriately uh, faster decoding on the essay topic is uh, never an easy task once it is done then develop the argument and analysis through a framework based on the meaning and scope of the topic as it as it appears before you what is important here is to understand the subject precisely and developing a focused framework so that all relevant uh, points are covered this is possible when the aspirants take the essay paper seriously and keep writing essays at regular intervals it is not mere writing a couple of essays before the mains examinations and get them reviewed by your own friends and seniors one needs to be prepared to write quality essay one has to learn about the structure process sequence and how to take the essay forward to the end uh through different stages aspirants need to be competent and capable of decoding the essay topics in around 5 minutes in the exam hall and then two essay frameworks uh, need to be developed within 10 or 12 minutes maximum now developing a framework on a topic within 5 or 6 minutes is not 
you know, that easy unless somebody practices it regularly and is mentored properly, guided properly, this becomes a really uh, challenging task. Let me just briefly look at, you know, all the eight topics. Uh, the details will be there uh, in, the, in the essay writing guidebook compiled and edited by me. It's 2022 uh, edited version. First topic is the process of self-discovery has now been technologically outsourced. The essay has two sections, the process of self-discovery and technologically outsourced. Self can be spiritual self or can be material self. Self-discovery attributes to self-mastery. That means self-examination and self-analysis. While spiritual Realism is about understanding inner self. Material per perception of self would be self-efficacy, self-confidence and uh, self-monitoring. Self is not a static concept. It is dynamic and developing strength and weakness in self is a continuing process. It becomes worth living of human when individual self explores possibilities uh, through uh, consistent uh, actions. Technology has an enormous uh, role in discovering self today. Since technology is discovered and acquired by human, it is naturally uh, existing away from human. So therefore, it is outsourced. Uh, every aspect of human life, uh, in fact, uh, have become uh, technology dependent today. Discovery of a, a mechanical device uh, made accomplishment of a physical task much faster and easier and also with due precision. Technology helped humans to differentiate itself from uh, animal being. People connect to Keith and uh, Keen through mobile phones. Most financial transactions are nowadays digital transactions. In, during COVID pandemic situation, technology is helping people to know whether they are in the midst of uh, COVID infected persons or not. Work from home, online education, e-commerce, you know, uh, medical consultation, information and knowledge sharing are now happening virtually on technology driven platforms. Even sports persons like a chess player virtually harness his or her skill, uh, you know, uh, using artificial intelligence. Technology helps person to learn about previous societies, one's neighbor and neighborhood, and their future possibilities. Over-dependency, however, on technology is uh, bad. It negates the concept of being human and harms human relationships. The second topic, that is, uh, your perception about me is a reflection of you. My react reaction to you is an awareness of me. Perception and assessments of one person by another uh, is essential component of uh, uh, human interaction. Human bonding is the result of mutual understanding about each other. This indicates that while I observe and try to understand others, others also equally estimate me. A person's interpretation of the world is determined by the way he or she has grown up. The same you know, uh, principle works uh, when one interacts with others. The way one person looks at others may not be correct in every instance or may suffer from a lot of errors and strong subjectivity. But then a rational person doesn't essentially need to return similar behavior to others. A person who has grown up in an environment of love and compassion will react differently from the person who has persistently uh, experienced uh, negligence and uh, uh, deprivation. A person may not be always free of error, but one's perception to others will be determined how the person perceives human relationship. Take example, during the World War II, Oscar Sindler, a German industrialist, uh, you know, took all the risk to save over 1,000 Polish Jews refugee uh, 
in spite of the fact that the Hitler's fascist administration identified them as the uh, enemies of civilization. Buddha and Gandhiji are other examples of forgiveness. While strong or violent form of reaction is not avoidable uh, in some circumstances, but a wrong rejoinder may cause harm uh, in social life. In contrast, rational and unbiased perception about each other can make bonding between humans stronger and sustainable. Skewed perception by others at times cannot be avoided as it is beyond one's control. Even majority's uh, perception may emerge uh, out to be prejudiced, irrational and unjustified. Take the example of Jesus Christ or Galileo. Even many social reformers were called treacherous in uh, India and many freedom fighters were you know, termed as terrorists. But then in responding to others, one certainly needs utmost care and caution uh, to, to make the human relationship uh, go uh, forward. Third topic, that is philosophy of one classness is utopian, while materialism is a chimera. It has two major you know, uh, components. One is wantlessness, which is utopian, and materialism, which is chimera. So that means neither wantlessness works nor materialism works. Some amount of material goods is uh, definitely necessary uh, for a good life. This is reality. Progress of civilization is marked by possession of material benefits. Thus, sacrificing materialism for secluded life is impractical and untenable. There can be minimalistic approach, but not absolutely consumption-free life. The issue is excessive position uh, you know, uh, that arises when it is driven by greed and selfishness. It replaces happiness by pleasure and pleasure is always incomplete and illusory. Demand and expectation need not be allowed to increase indefinitely and exponentially. Gandhiji uh, was for wantlessness. He stood by rational and niche-based modernity and industrialization. What is important is championing the stronger want, which is happiness, uh, and the these need sacrifice of the weaker and inferior ones, that is vulgar pleasure. No society ever has so much resources of, or such economic system that can be sufficient to satisfy everybody's needs. Even if people acquire wealth and material goods in legitimate way, there is a need uh, to impose reasonable restrictions uh, on the ownership of those resources. Excess wealth of a person or in a society is collective resource and can be diverted for the civilizational uh, benefits and for everybody's welfare. Hence, equitable distribution of resources and wealth is important for the pursuit of happiness. Then the fourth essay topic, the real is rational and the rational is real. So basically, it is a contrasting discussion between real and rational. Society is divided into reality and imagination. Certainly not always, but reality is often derived uh, from imagination. New imagination create new realities and realities uh, give birth to new imagination. So this is a cyclical process. There is a dialectical relationship between real and uh, something imaginary. But imagination is vague and paradox. While mystery is solved, then idea and imagination replaced by reality. This is why real is equivalent to rationality. The idea of heaven is mere imagination. Not reason, but faith works here. On the other side, the earth is real. 
its very existence and all that happened on the earth like the changing of season blossoming of flowers or germination of life are supported by logic and reasoning this is exactly why they are real and rational logic and reasoning of any idea is established with its embodiment into fact whatever may be the its forms and expressions the moment a person listens to someone's voice from distance telephonic communication becomes a reality when a cyclonic air thrashes at the sea coast we learn that there is a tornado this is factual specific and unambiguous and there is a rationality because it happens due to coherence of more than one factors which we can prove and establish there are more than one aspects which not or equal transformed uh, a, 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 a cyclone or uh, air pressure into a, a cyclone reality can be both tangible and intangible because human being is a tangible reality while air is an intangible reality and this is why reason cannot be separated from reality ever these are the philosophical topics do you think that they are you know really too tough that that cannot be uh, written now let us go to the section b there are four topics first one is hand that rocks the cradle uh, rules the world okay now basically the you know you have to uh, decode uh, cradle uh, you know that word here it is often said that india uh, was cradle of civilization this means that one of the early civilizations grew and expanded in india similarly ancient uh, greek society is known for cradling democracy a book by richard uh, cantillon namely essay on the nature of trade in general published in some time in 17th century is known as the uh, cradle of political economy william rose wallace devoted uh, his poem the ha- hand that rocks uh, the cradle uh, to, uh, to to establish uh, eternal significance of motherhood such various usages inform that though cradle means a mountain baby bed that rocks its connotation has expanded far from its original definition over the period when a mother helps a person sail through uh, the troubling time she indeed gives society a skilled and competent human being to contribute for the betterment of society similarly the leadership after independence created a political system and a development process that catapulted india uh, as a strong nation uh, to the world nurturing young people today would mean creating strong contingent of future leadership some people may become destructive in state barring those exceptions the majority of the people will hold the capacity to enlighten others to bring about an equitable society proper nourishment of the body and mind makes people confident to overcome the difficult challenges in life those who do it become inspiration for others they become the role models sixth essay that is what is research but a blind date with knowledge so basically it is a relationship between research and knowledge research brings out new findings which can be idea concept uh, factual reality or new possibility research creates new knowledge and thus takes the existing knowledge at an advanced level but no research finding is ever is ever conclusive uh, and permanent the relevance significance and importance of findings sustain until new idea uh, on the subject arrives some of the discoveries like newton's gravitational uh, power or archimedes principles of mathematics may sustain for long in contrast creative ideas related to information technology may get discarded sooner every research has some missing points in points in it due to this limitation quest for new knowledge continues 
Every research is conducted in specific geopolitical space and in a given timeline. Its data and information come from a place and population which change over time. New knowledge exposes its limitations. That is why research is never conclusively objective. There is fundamental difference between research and knowledge. While the former is static, the latter is dynamic. Knowledge is contextual. As the context changes, the knowledge becomes different. When the value of knowledge changes, the need for fresh research and finding arises. For example, over the period of time, water has become a kinetic energy. Hence, research for knowledge will you know, never uh, die. Seventh topic, that is history repeats itself, first as tragedy and second as a first. Uh, it will suit very well to political history, but not necessarily it will uh, only suit to political history. Even there are other kinds of history. History is original and real. It changes over time. History is dynamic. It evolves. It progresses. But history has never a singular focus. Every aspect of existence on the earth has a distinct and unique history. Changes of repetition of the same or identical incident in historical progress are almost impossible for the reason that both the context and the actors become different in different historical time. But then there are instances when similar uh, incident has returned. In some context, re repeat of similar uh, incident shows the people have not learned from the past and did not take necessary rectifying measures. Repeat of the similar situation for the second time uh, indicates that people have failed to progress further. For the history of the ruling class in a state, such things really happen. There are innumerable examples of it. Devastation and destruction of the Second World War was several times greater in magnitude than the First World War. The sustenance of COVID-19 pandemic for over two years across the world shows uh, that the countries are unprepared on basic preventive health care. Return of Taliban in Afghanistan within a gap of 20 years is certainly a tragedy. When history repeats this the, for the second time, it often becomes a mockery. Take the example, in 1962, India considered defeat to the Chinese attack. But during Doklam in 2017, India was firm but cautious. And in 2020, in, during Galwan crisis, India compelled the Chinese forces to recede. But the history of people's movement does not really inform that reputation becomes a tragedy or a farce in all instances. In the 18th century, countries in Asia and Africa gave in to the invading colonial power from Europe and they suffered. But for the last over 40 years, the independent countries of these two continents have been resisting the neo-colonial strategies of the Western power. In every round of assertion, and these countries are becoming stronger than before. So therefore, it is not a tragedy or first for them. Eighth topic, the last topics, there are better practices to best practices. The concept of best practices are often used in developmental experiments. Truly speaking, best is a relative concept. Best practices are not the best. It is not about absolute perfection, but exemplary practices. A best practice indicates merely a standard of effectiveness and effic efficiency and need not meet all the parameters to become the best. The term is used in many fields of uh, human welfare services. A best practice can be related to the implementation of a program, a project, or such uh, other things. Yet, uh, best practice have multiple meanings and it may vary from situation to situation. There may be best model of running a school or doing farming. This is contextual. 
once the new knowledge or practice is unearthed, a new best is created. Relevant significance and importance of a practice is not eroded uh, or nullified for not being the best practices. Best practice is not a, th- is not a third party assessment but a self-proclamation. Thus, no back- best practice can ever be conclusive- conclusively uh, the best. Learning from the impacts of some best practices will inspire to initiate uh, new experiments. This new best then becomes better than the previous one. Pele was the best football player in his time. But then later, uh, Maradona was also uh, the best player. Similarly, the topper in an examination is the best performer until the best performer is announced in the subsequent examination. A better singer or actor emerges uh, on every other day. A a better medicine of a disease takes entry into the market at regular intervals. Even the best software does not survive uh, as best for long. New designs push the most attractive apparels into oblivion in no time. This is in brief uh, how I see the essay topics of 2021 uh, mains examination. If you need support for writing quality essay, uh, please contact us at the given numbers or through Telegram channel. Thank you. All the best.